Black Forest in German. That's 200 kilometers away. That's a long way to go. There's a bus that travels between here and the Black Forest, so getting there should be no problem. Who owns the workshop? The workshop belongs to the legendary gear master who built Harry Gamble's gear. Bridge Vogel? He built Harry Gamble's Bridge Vogel? There may be a problem, though. Uh huh? I was told that the owner of the workshop was a great gear master, but that he also has a bad temper. It's possible that we could get there and not be allowed to use it. We'll take that chance. Let's go. No, you stay here. What? Stay here and help Korea with his match. I'll go alone. This is a job for the team's gear master, Karuto. Wait! I'll be back before the start of the semifinals. Don't worry, Karudo. I won't let you down. Thank you. You'll have to take care of Koya for the both of us, Karudo. Huh? I've decided to go with Jin in case he needs any help along the way. Don't go! Huh? Koya needs you to be here for him, Jiro. You're like a big brother to him. I'm not worried. Koya has you to look after him. Jiro. <laughs> Jiro. Uh huh? Take this mobile phone with you. Call us when you get there. Right. Okay, Jin, it's time to hit the road. Hey, wait for me. Round two, set up. Ready? Use the shining sword breaker in this Korea. Wang Hu! I just want things the way they were. I know you're still in there. Korea is evil! My enemy! Kill! Kill! Kill him! What a punishing attack from Wang Hu's Tiger Ray! The Root of Phoenix is being slapped all over the ring! <laughs> Tiger Raid's VT chassis system seems to be outperforming Koya's at every turn! 
Things look bad. Rude of Phoenix seems stuck in the piston spikes. Tiger Aid is pouncing in, tearing chunks off Phoenix's wings. <laughs> <laughs> Little Koya, you want this match to be fun for Wang Hu, but I've made that impossible. Wang Hu's mind is out of your reach. I've brought out the primal animal instinct in him. He believes this fight is for his survival. There is no joy in this game for Wang Hu. Trying to free him will be your downfall. His animal instincts are 100 times greater than normal. His thoughts are too primal to be reached by your pathetic love. Little Koya, Garuda Phoenix has become his prey. The sight of your gear triggers his most lethal killing instincts. A ring out for Koya's Garuda Phoenix! Crikey! He digs in his talons and pours his way back into the ring! Your enemy is running, Wang Hu! Show no mercy! Finish him! Destroy Garuda Phoenix! No! But Master, Garuda Phoenix is out of range for Wang Hu's special maneuver. If he uses it, he could miss completely! And we could end up with a draw just like in round one! <clears throat> Keep your foolish mouth shut! Uh -huh. While babbling foolishly at me, you failed to notice that Wang Hu has moved into range. My tiger will pounce on Korya's dreams. Finish Korya now, Wang Hu! Fighting! Tiger! Killer! Oh, what a dodge! Rita Phoenix slips clear of the tiger's grasp! Well done, Koya. You've learned how to avoid Wang Hu's special maneuver. Mm. Wang Hu! Do it again! Destroy him! Do it again until Garuda Phoenix is dead! What? Uh, tiger Raid is almost out of power. Why would he want him to do it again? He's only thinking about how to destroy me. This isn't a gear fight, it's a death match. There's no way he can enjoy the game in this state. To gear fight, you must think carefully and match techniques. You're the one who taught me that. You've forgotten. Wang Hu! <laughs> Great, he dodged again. Koya has been using all of his skill and technique trying desperately to show Wang Hu how to enjoy a gear fight. But it's having the opposite effect on Wang Hu. Koya, how dare you? Do you think you can make a fool out of me? No, please listen! Wang Hu, I'd never try to make a fool out of you! Wang Hu, I want you to enjoy this! Shut up! Do it again, Wang Hu! Use your special maneuver! Uh. He's barely got any power left. Fighting Tiger Killer! Uh. Uh -huh. Looks like Garuda Phoenix couldn't avoid it this time! Minyu trying so hard to smash Garuda Phoenix. Oh, could it be? <clears throat> a 
But that means that... Koya? Huh? In the next round, you have to use your Shining Sword Breaker move. Huh? Why would I do that? Because Min Yu is afraid of Shining Sword Breaker. What? Why would he be afraid of it, Karuda? In the team stage, Lan and Ma were told only to concentrate their attacks on Garuda Phoenix and ignore a raging bullet. Then in stage two, Min Yu tried to blackmail Korya into purposely losing his match against Ma. And in this game, Min Yu is so nervous he's making Wang Hu overuse his maneuver. Uh. You think that using Shining Sword Breaker will make Wang Hu even more violent and lost than before, so you're not using it just to protect him. But that's wrong, and Min Yu knows it. Shining Sword Breaker. It's the only thing that can save Wang Hu. It can make Wang Hu normal again? Shining Sword Breaker can save him? Yes. I can't prove it, but I'm sure that's why Min Yu has been acting like he has. Wang Hu... Back to the way he was? It's a gamble. A big gamble. But I think it's a gamble worth taking, Korya. But if... Try it, Korya. Use Shining Sword Breaker. Uh, trust yourself. Have faith in Garuda Phoenix. Your heart's connected to your gear. It carries all your feelings with it, Korya. And Wang Hu will understand. Kaoru. Come on. That stupid bust of the Black Forest should be here by now. And we're wasting time standing here. Patience, Jin. The bus will be here soon. There's nothing we can do. Hey, look up there. Round three's about to start. Wang Hu. will carry them for me. Round three! Set up! Huh? Ready? Go! Phoenix is almost in range for his attack. 
<laughs> I see. Master will use Wang Hu's maneuver as a cover. Of course. He's drawing Garuda Phoenix in close for the kill. As soon as Tiger Raid makes contact with Garuda Phoenix, he'll activate the special wheel. Garuda Phoenix will be completely destroyed. <sighs> Everyone will think the explosion was the combined power of Fighting Tiger Killer Paw and Shining Sword Breaker destroying both. Yes, a little closer. I can build a thousand Tiger Raids. As for him, Wang Hu can easily be replaced as well. No one will stop me from getting revenge. <laughs> All of this to fulfill his sick desire for revenge on the GFA. He's been like a father to us. We can't betray him. How could we ever betray him? If we fight, we'll lose everything we have. Lose everything? But what do we really have? We'll have our dignity. Mm. Mm. Uh huh? That sound. Uh, Koya! Watch out! <laughs> Master! Forgive me! Its wheels exploded! of the GFA regulations. All the proof was recorded on camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is not the last you'll see of me, Gina Firestone. I'll be back to finish you in four years at the next World Cup. <laughs> Wei Hu, wake up! Open your eyes! Wei Hu! 
has violated the GFA's rules and regulations, resulting in a lifetime ban on competition. We are currently investigating Minyu's participation in Gear Pan Creation, an underground gear fighting club set up to destroy Crush Gear. What did the doctor say? Physically, there's nothing wrong with him. The doctors don't know why he hasn't woken up yet. He's just tired. A lot's happened to Wang Hu. He'll wake up. Maybe now Wang Hu can go back to enjoying Crush Gear, the way he used to. We all can. We owe a great deal to someone for teaching us this lesson. Thank you for this, Koya. Huh? You've taught us something important that we'd all forgotten. You taught us that our gear are connected to our hearts. Someday, I hope we can play again. Sure. That's right. Someday. Someday, Jin. home, Jin. Open the door! I only have one day to fix my friend's gear. Please, I need your workshop. Please, help us! Open the door! I beg you! Jiro, break the door down. Come on, Jin, I can't do that. We don't have any time left. If you won't do it, then I will. Come on, Jin, that's a heavy door. Yeah! He's lost it. Is he the legendary gear god? Hey, are you all right? And I bet you didn't think I was strong enough to break it down, did you, Jiro? It would have been harder if the door was locked. Uh, uh, Anyone here? Hello, is there anyone at home? Right. Huh? This will do nicely. Jin, we have to ask the owner first. Huh? Jiro, I'm afraid of dogs. Especially big, mean ones like that. I think we're in big trouble, Jin. Ah! Down there, is it? Uh -huh. uh, 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 stop it, please! Your doggy breath is horrible. His name is Zeus. Huh? Call him Zeus. Uh -huh. Don't you like dogs? I'm not an animal person. 
Well, Zeus seems to like you. Huh? Interesting story. So will you let us use your workshop, mister? Sure, it's all yours, boys. Huh? <sighs> can you manage with the tools here? They're old, but I think I can manage. That's great, Jin. If you need anything, just say the word. One thing. What's that? Stay out of my way. <sighs> all right. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Huh? You should get some rest yourself, Karudo. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't you get any sleep? Don't push yourself too hard. <sighs> Right, time for a little breakfast. What's wrong, Jin? I can't get the shaft the right size. Huh? I need a computer grinder to do this. Ugh! Well, why don't you just grind it down by hand? We're talking about a hundredth of a millimeter here. It's just not easy to do, Jiro. Darn! If we were only in Takeshi's workshop, this wouldn't be a problem. Forget about that. We have to use what we've got, Jin. Kurudo's game takes place tomorrow afternoon. Dig deep and try harder, Jin. <sighs> Sorry, this isn't going to help you. I'll stay out of your way. I've got it. I can help you by making us some food. Be right back. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Why, you haven't even touched your food. Oh? He went to a lot of trouble to make that. I don't have time to eat. Huh? Eat it. You can't work well on an empty stomach, so eat it. Ask you something. Ask away. I heard this was the workshop of the gear master who built Bridge Vogel. Does that mean you're the legendary? It wasn't me. Huh? My grandson built that gear. Really? Where's your grandson now? I don't know. He hasn't come back here to visit me for quite a long time now. I see. You sound disappointed. Little. Well, quite a lot, actually. And why's that? Why? Because a gear fighter would give just about anything to be able to meet him. The gear god. Huh? The gear god? So you live out here all by yourself? That's right. When I get to your age, 
I want to live in a place just like this where I can build my gear in peace. Mm -hmm. No one would ever bother me. I'd have the freedom to build whatever I wanted to. To be honest, I'm not really much of a people person. Oh. <laughs> my grandson said the same thing as you. Huh? My grandson said that when he had the freedom to make the gear he wanted to, then he'd come out here and escape. He'd come here to escape? To escape from the crush gear world. Huh? My grandson's biggest crush gear dream was shattered a long time ago, when he was just 16 years old. But he changed. After meeting a boy called Harry Gamble, he no longer wanted to build his gear in solitude. Harry Gamble? He had a gear fight, and he asked my grandson if he would be willing to build him a brand new gear to use for the fight. His opponent was from the Far East, and this kid was going to be the best gear fighter that he'd ever faced. Yuya Marino. His passion for crushed gear and respect for his opponent, it moved my grandson. He said the look in Harry Gamble's eyes brought back a feeling of passion for crushed gear, a feeling that he had forgotten and sorely missed. He said it was a feeling that he had when he built the first crush gear, so he decided to help the young boy. Six months later, after my grandson built Bridge Fogel, he left this house. I'm sure he's somewhere in the world still building new gear with the same great passion. And I know he'll never stop building crush gear hoping with every gear that the one who uses it will learn the same lessons of friendship and fun he learned. Hmm? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Stop it, will you? <laughs> ah! You should have woken me up. But it's only seven. What? Are you finished yet? Uh, no. Huh? Oh. This can't be. Oh, it's finished and perfect. Wow. That's great work, Jen. I didn't do this, Jiro. What? Then who did? Huh? He did it. What? Thank you for your help. I lost my match in America. I wanted to go back to Japan to be by myself. But I don't ever want to be like that again. I'm not great with people. And when things don't go my way, I get annoyed very quickly. But after all I've done to make things difficult, they're still my friends. So I guess it was a pleasure. Looks like your crush gear dream is finally coming true, Sean. Karuto! They fixed shooting Phantom for you! What? Lilica just got off the phone. They're catching the next bus back here. That's great! Jin and Jiro? Their bus wasn't involved in the crash. Thank goodness. They can't get back here. Uh -huh. Huh? The accident caused a huge traffic jam, and they're right in the middle of it. 
Can't we send someone to bring them back? The accident blocked traffic in both directions. There's no way in or out of the area. How far from here are they? Jiro says he figures they're still about 20 kilometers away. 20 kilometers? He said that they were about to get off the bus and walk the rest of the way. They're gonna walk? He said that the quickest route is straight over that mountain. Should we try? We don't have any choice. Right. He's too far away to get a signal. But they had a signal before. There must be some way we can get them back here in time. I know. A helicopter. Where are we going to get one? Maybe they have one here. Don't worry. Huh? Don't worry. Jin will make it back in time for my match. Uh -huh. uh. Forty-five minutes to go. Hey, Jin, are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. Okay? Yeah. Right, let's go. <clears throat> Ignore it. Move! <gasps> oh, it's almost time. Please bring your gear to the inspection area. Uh, don't worry. I'll ask Gina for a little more time. Wayne! I can't go on. I can't run anymore. Jiro, take the gear the rest of the way for me. Get up, Jin. You're going to hand that crush gear to Karuto yourself. I can't. Come on. Uh, Jiro? Hurry, get on. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, Jiro. Hey, this is nothing. It's a walk in the park compared to Little League training. Lilica! I explained everything to Gina and asked her for a little more time. But she said it would be impossible to delay the match. And if we miss the gear inspection, Karuto will be disqualified. <gasps> Jin, we made it, Jin. Huh? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> oh. uh, Jiro. It's my foot. What? You fool! You hurt your foot and. Sorry, I can't walk any farther, Jin. You take it the rest of the way. I'll be right behind you. I can't just leave you here like this. <clears throat> Don't be stupid! I carried you this far on a sprained ankle. Now run! Run! Jiro? Come on, Jim, move! Jiro? Uh. 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 The semi-final match is about to start between Takeshi Manganji and Tapitas Karudo Marume. One thing that seems to be baffling the crowd is why Karudo hasn't brought his gear in for inspection. Could there be a problem? Let's hope not, folks. I'll wait for them at the front gate. Kaoru, I'll ask Takeshi to delay. What? I have a favor to ask you. We need to delay the match 10 minutes. Jin is on his way back here from the workshop. We just need 10 minutes. Please, Takeshi, we can't delay without your permission. And why should we delay the match for you? Please, Takeshi! Takeshi! Uh? 
Karuno. Uh -huh. uh. I beg you, Jin will be here very soon with my gear. Just ten minutes, no, five minutes will be enough. I'm begging you. Oh. Please, Takeshi, I beg you. I beg you. Takeshi, I beg you, give them more time. Mamita, what are you doing? We were once members of the Tabita Club too, Kamano. Yet I can't bear to see them lose a match like this. <laughs> Please, I beg you, Takeshi. I, I beg, beg you! you. foot on the way here. He'll need your help. Shiro's been hurt. I've got a gear to deliver. Then go. Too late! We all got down on our hands and knees and begged Takeshi for a little more time. He refused. Oh, Karudo, I'm sorry. If only I made it back a little earlier, you'd be playing. I... Hey, Jin. I've never felt so lucky in my life. This is much better than beating Takeshi. Or even becoming the World Cup champion. Having you as my friend is the best thing that's ever happened. Thank you, Jin. Karuto! My default is Takeshi Man Ganji. Our second semi-final match will begin shortly, pitting Koya Marino up against Yuya. One of these two players is going to be in the final showdown with Takeshi Man Ganji. Yeah. 